And a special thanks and shout out to Vintage Masterpiece in Whiteland, Indiana for allowing me to come out and film today. Hello everyone, today we'll be taking an in-depth walk around look at this very nice 1979 Ford Thunderbird. And this Thunderbird is painted in the Ford Code 3F light medium blue and it has the YQ Code 2-piece Valino grain midnight blue vinyl roof. Interior is the light blue waffle weave knit cloth with the interior decor group. As you can see, the exterior also has optional cast aluminum wheels, as well as fender vents. The Ford Thunderbird was produced from 1955 to 2005, creating the niche market segment known as a personal luxury car. And these vehicles are rear-wheel drive, and this one is powered by the 5.8 liter, 351 cubic inch, two-barrel modified V8. Creates 152 horsepower at 3,600 RPM, 278 pound-feet of torque at 1,800 RPM. And it is mated to Ford C6 Select Shift 3-speed automatic transmission. The 1979 model year would mark the end of the 7th generation production run, as well as the end of the full-size body styles, as the 1988th generation would adopt the popular compact Fox body platform design. For 1977, the Thunderbird was shifted to the smaller 114-inch wheelbase chassis that underpinned the 1972-1976 Ford Torino and its replacement, the LTD2, which also debuted for 1977. Even with the nearly 8 inches in length shaved from the 1975 Thunderbird, it still looked large to the eye. The square, sharper styling was popular as this generation became the most popular in the history of the Ford Thunderbird. For the first time, a wide fixed B-pillar was used, reflecting Detroit's abandonment of the pillarless hardtops in the mid and late 1970s. However, the door glass remained frameless. 1979 saw the production run of 284,141 vehicles. And up front, the Lincoln Continental styling continues with vacuum-operated headlamp doors that expose single circular sealed beam headlamps. Turn indicators are clear, they have amber bulbs that continue with the Lincoln Continental styling theme, as well as the vertical chrome-plated grille and the prominent Thunderbird hood ornament. Alright, we're going to take a look inside. The personal luxury theme continues inside as well, and this vehicle is equipped with the interior decor group, so it does have the simulated walnut trim, soft-touch door armrest, manual wind-down windows with manual mirror controls. Standard on the interior decor group is also the waffle weave cloth seats with the color keyed seat belts. It also has high adjustable head restraints. This vehicle is equipped with air conditioning as seen here on the driver's side lower instrument panel. You can also see the simulated walnut trim and the chrome accents. And this vehicle is also equipped with cruise control. Alright, let's pan through the interior to show a little more details. As stated before, your cruise control 
switches are on the steering wheel as well as a simulated walnut trim. In various gauges you have your fuel, you have your speedometer, temperature gauge and an analog clock with various warning lights. Wiper washer controls, the right hand mirror controls as well as your stereo radio controls. You do have an ashtray with a cigar lighter. Very nice and very comfortable and roomy interior for sure. Overhead you have the manually dimming rear view mirror. You've also got sun visors that have seen better days unfortunately. All right, let's take a look at the rear seat. The rear seat has easy entry with the seat backs, but the seat belts do get in the way. The rear seat does seat three across with lap belts across the entire seat. Decent amount of leg room, thick cut pile carpeting, soft touch padding, as well as a simulated walnut trim. All right, let's take a look at the luggage area. 15.6 cubic feet make up the luggage area. As you can see, it's very nice and spacious. Although it does have a full-size spare tire, so that does take up a lot of room. You've also got jack and tools as well. On the deck lid, you have your jacking instructions. The trunk lid is also illuminated. And this does conclude our in-depth walk-around look at this very nice 1979 Ford Thunderbird. And as always, thanks for watching.